video, I'm going to introduce the basics of how to begin our commercial negotiation class. Now, because this class has so much online, there are many instructions to follow, but once you get used to it, it'll be pretty smooth. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the requirements, what you need to do now, basically, to get going. So what do you need to do now? Well, the first couple classes are going to be in the classroom, so it would be best if the first class, especially, you could come to class. In addition to that, what we're going to do is begin online. And the first thing you need to be able to do is access this document, and the address is this address right here. I'm gonna put that on the screen nice and big so you can see it. And if you go to that address, what you're going to see is this document right here. You're going to see this document that we're looking at right now. This is the most important part of all of the online information for this class because everything is here that you need. Everything is centralized. All the links are here. So if you ever get confused or lost, come back to this page. Now this is located on Google Docs. So one of the first things you're going to need to do is make sure you have a Google account. How do you get a Google account? Well, you can have a Gmail address is probably the easiest way. You may be able to use other ways, but that's the easiest way. Now, when you get your Google account or when you have your Gmail account or whatever, the place you can go to is the Google Drive, which is located here at google.com slash drive. And the idea is you can access documents online. If you've never used Google Drive before, I strongly suggest you try using it now. It has a lot of free space and you can put documents on there and use a lot of things online, such as spreadsheets and writing software on Google Drive in the cloud. And we're going to be using that for our class. So it's important that you be able to use this. You don't need to do too much. Just make sure you can log in and give it a try. Okay, so once you're inside of Google Drive, it looks something like this. On the left side is kind of some general topics and some categories, and these are my folders. And then on the right side are the subdirectories and folders. So I think you're very familiar with this kind of idea. You've seen this before probably. So it's very easy to organize. Maybe use something like Dropbox, or maybe you use something like uh, Microsoft OneDrive. It's all the same kind of idea. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is make sure you have a Google account and specifically you need to make sure you can access Google Drive and you know how it works. So you're going to come and get this document here by using this link, which is our class schedule and introduction and outline, all of the details of our class. Now on here, let me go over some of the links first. This is very important. So one by one, I'm going to go over these links. The first link is, of course, this document we're looking at right now. This is the class outline and schedule, so that is most important. The next one is class grades and schedule updates, etc. So this is going to be the document that is always changing depending on grades and how you do in the class, and I'm always going to be keeping that up to date. So if I click on that and go to that page, what I'm going to end up is I have a spreadsheet here and this spreadsheet is a Google Sheet. I need Google Drive to use it and you'll need Google Drive to use it also. So let me compact this a little bit. So you can see here what we have is students, numbers, and grades and we can go over and see all of their grades. This is a previous semester's class and we can go all the way to the end seeing what their grades are for all of their assignments. Okay, now when you come here, it's going to be empty. So there's not gonna be anything here. You need to do something though, which is you need to put your name in here. So we're going to ask for your, for your English name, your Chinese name, and your Gmail address or the email you like to use. Now again, which email should you use? Well, you should use your Gmail just to keep things easy because your Gmail is linked to your account where you can use Google Drive. So that makes it easy. So if you don't have a Gmail, go ahead and open up a Gmail. I will also be emailing your school address, but the point here is, please pay attention. 
You need to come here first. You need to put your name on this list. English name, Chinese name, and then your email address. And for email, the best thing would be your Gmail account that's linked to everything you do in Google. So these are the three things we need, one, two, and three. We're also gonna need your student number. So put your student number in there, so four things. All right, so let me just repeat that one more time. How do you get there? From the schedule and outline of the class. That's this one page where everything we do will be on this page. Everything is linked to this page. This is the one page. Where is this page at? Here is the address for this page. So this page will tell you everything. This is the main class schedule, the main class outline. Where do we go from here? The second link down here is your class grades and schedule. All right, so how do we do that? Click there and open it. And if you have Google Docs, that will open and you'll be able to see this is our student list. What do you need to do? You need to come in and fill in the English name, Chinese name, student number, and your email. Four things you need to put in. Okay, so I think that's pretty straightforward. If you don't do that, I won't know who you are and I won't be able to open permissions for you to access other documents that are very important. Now, you don't need to form groups yet but we will be forming groups eventually. Probably the second week we'll be forming groups. So you can see here we have some group letters or group numbers, but I'm gonna take that off for the beginning. For, for now, just at the beginning of this class, just give me those four things. Your email address, your English name, your Chinese name, and your student number. Now down at the bottom, you can see there's another tab down there. And down at that tab down there, it says buy book. So we have a book and software we need for this class. So what I need you to do is, after you put your four pieces of information into this tab, student list, which is your email address, your English name, your Chinese name, your student number, then I need you to come over to the buy, buy book section, a tab, and I need you to go ahead and put in your English name, your Chinese name if you have one, and again, same thing for the student list. If you do not have a Chinese name, then just leave it empty. Your student number, and then I need you to specify, do you want a paper book or an e-book? If you want paper, just write the word paper. If you want to have an e-book, just write e-book. The price is the same, except the e-book will be a PDF and the paper book will be paper. So personally, I think e-book is much easier to use, much more portable and, and easy. This also pays for our software, so we get a two-in-one deal. So go ahead and do that. We'll talk more about the details of that in class, uh, but we do have all of the necessary links on this page again. So where am I? I've come back to this page here, which is our main page, right? Our schedule and outline of the class. Okay, where did we just go? We just went over to look at the schedule and grades page, which means this page over here, which is going to have our class list, our student participants, our book list, and if I have any schedule changes that will go over there. Okay, the next link on this page is our textbook. And as I said, you can put your name on the list to get the textbook and you specify if you want an e-book or a paper book. And the easiest way would be we collect that money together all at once in the class. The total amount is going to be 590 NT dollars. So uh, NT dollars 590. That will pay for the book and the software. That's actually just the price of the book, but I've negotiated so we get the software with the book. So you won't have to do anything else. So if we could do that together, that would save a lot of your trouble, I think. So please go out of your way for the first class and second class, see if you can remember to bring $590 to the class. Okay, now let's go ahead down the list here and see what else we have for links. So those were the important links to start the class out. Now we're gonna go to writing assignments. So this is information about the writing assignments. Remember, 
One third of the class is practicing writing business communications for negotiation. So the software page that we're going to be using for our cloud uh, software for our cloud writing assignments is Quick Business Letters or QBL, which is located at this address. You will not be able to use it until you get your registration number, which is after you pay for the book. So once you pay, we'll be able to give registration numbers. You can go ahead and go there though and download the help manual in Chinese or English. And there's also videos there for help in Chinese and in English. Next, we have another link here, which should link to the quizzes. Now, here's an example. I go ahead and I open that up and I scroll down and here we have a link, a list of links to quizzes. And what this is, is a list of our eight quizzes that we're going to have. However, if you click on it now, let me go ahead and click, try to open it. It's not going to open because it's not time yet. It will only open during the time that the quiz is open. And for us, that will be usually a six day period. So you need to read a chapter and take a quiz and you have about six days to do that for the eight chapters we have. Okay, I'm gonna close some things up here, clean up a little bit. Okay, so here we are back at the outline page and we just saw the link to the quizzes and to the writing assignments. Okay, so that's all the individual work in this class. Next, what about the lectures? Remember, the lectures are not going to be in the classroom, they're going to be online. So, if lectures are online, where is that going to be? Well, they're going to be on YouTube, and they're also going to be on our school system. But here we have a very easy link to the YouTube links. So let me show you that. Online video lectures. And you can go ahead and click this link to go to lectures. Right there. And you can see it opens up. And it's going to give me a list of all the lectures. So this is a playlist on YouTube that will help me help you quickly see all of the lectures and they will be numbered by chapter and topic so it depends on the topic and the chapter and you can see all the videos there and you can just click on in the play just like any YouTube video we also have a lecture introducing the RPG game and you can go there to watch the RPG game click that link if you're curious, then you want to get some information beforehand. And let me see, I'll just jump ahead and yes, we can see some of the details there. Okay, so I go over it step by step, giving you the idea. Of course, we're going to do this in class also, but it's a great way to do it online to get up to speed on it. And if you want to check things out before you decide if you want to take this class, you can check this out. It's a very cool, very fun activity that I think you'll enjoy and it really does a great thing of learning by doing. That's the key, the key to this class, learning by doing, not just talking about it, but, but doing it. And it makes it fun and interesting. Okay, next we're going to go down and we have our upload evaluation sheet. And remember I told you in a previous video that we have a evaluation sheet and this evaluation sheet is on Google Drive and I can go ahead and upload my groups sheets there and you can see here is a, a group groups from previous the previous year and every time they had an RPG game they uploaded their evaluation sheet which is one group one evaluation sheet and how does that work people who participate the way you want them to, that you're satisfied, everyone in the group is happy, they get 100. Everyone in a group can have 100, that means everyone's equal. That's the participation. On the other hand, if you have someone in your group who's lazy, doesn't show up, you give them less, and they're going to get that percentage less of the grades. So if you give them 50, they're going to get 50% of that activity's grade. So it's very serious and a really great way to keep your group organized and working together and to be fair, I think. 
one activity, one RPG game, one evaluation sheet per group. And you only evaluate your own group and you all agree on it. So just everyone together says, yes, you did 100%, you did 100%, we're all 100%, everybody gets 100%. That's normal. In fact, it's unnormal, it's unusual, abnormal to have something different. But maybe you have bad luck and someone's lazy, you can punish them for that. Okay, lastly, we have some negotiation information. So if you want to learn more about the negotiation, there's an Excel sheet you can download here. And there's also an RPG PDF sheet for buyers and sellers. The game is divided clearly between buyers and sellers. So that's how you would go ahead and take a look at that if you want to get it early or you want to begin to learn about it now. Okay, so what's left? I think the last thing I want to look at in this video is the schedule for the class. So let's go ahead and on this outline schedule page we have the actual schedule and here we go. So let's take a look at the schedule and once you see the schedule I think you'll like it a lot. Remember the goal of this class is to make it as easy as possible for you to learn, to gain information, to gain some know-how and to learn by doing. That doesn't mean we have to be in the classroom. So on this schedule, you can see this red color, this kind of light red, that means in the classroom. In this light yellow means online classes. And of course, we have 18 weeks, which is the normal uh, Taiwan semester. And out of that, we're going to have one, two, three, four times in the classroom, only four. So the very first class is in the classroom. I really hope you can come to the first class because we're going to be moving quickly in that we want to get right up to speed and then shift to online right away. Lots of students miss the first class because they're like, well, whatever, I'm just checking things out. I don't mind you come and check things out and don't come again, but please do come to the first class if you're even considering the class because there's so much to cover to get going online to make sure to help you. The second week, we're also online. I mean, in the classroom. The second week, we're in the classroom. The first week, we're in the classroom. The first week is very basic introdu introduction, show you the list, show you the class outline, show you these things I'm talking about. But then the second week are our group formation. So we're going to make our groups. And then we're going to also test out how do you take a quiz, how do you do the QBL online writing assignment, and how do we do the RPG? What are the basics of the RPG game? So that's the second week. So if you come in the second week but you did not attend the first week, you won't even know that you need to have a Google account. You'll be like, whoa, what do I do now? Where do I begin? So that's a little bit trouble. So the first week and second week are going to be in the classroom and hopefully you can make the first week. Third week is online. We actually do an RPG game, our first one, and it's a practice one. The grade doesn't count. We're just practicing. And then we meet in the classroom another time. Why do we meet then? To review what happened in the RPG, to understand how the game works a little bit better and to answer questions for anyone who had a problem or issues. So that's really, um, that's it. That's all there is for the classroom. Everything else is going to be online. Uh, we have a holiday here and then you can see the rest is online. So if you follow me down here, you can see what it looks like. For example, we're going to have a chapter and the chapter is part two, and you need to go ahead and read part two, and then you need to complete the quiz. You can see there's a quiz there. And then during the week, there's an RPG game to play. And we have a special time that begins the game, which is our class time, which is a Monday morning, 9 a.m. We begin the RPG game. And then you go ahead and you play until you, until you finish, until you're done. For example, if you're a seller, until you've sold all of your products. If you're a buyer, until you've bought all that you need to or want to buy. And then we go ahead and the last time is Sunday night is when it's closing. So if it's past Sunday night, then it's not going to, it's, it's over, game over, right? Game over as they say. So that's pretty neat. So that's Monday to Sunday. So it's pretty cool. Of course, groups that are aggressive and get going fast have an advantage. If you sit around and wait until Sunday, you might not be able to find any offers or counter offers. So if you're a buyer and you're in the market to buy, but the sellers have already sold all their inventory and you wait until Sunday, there's not going to be anybody selling anymore. So that's kind of the idea. But it's up to you how you manage your time and how you do things. Isn't that neat? All right, so then this is our last time in the classroom is to review that RPG. 
Oh, I see, we got one more time. So that's the fourth time, I'm sorry, I think I got that wrong. But the fourth time is the review without RPG. So we come into the class and we say, hey, who did well? Who did not so well? Why did the people who do well do well? And why did the people who did not so well do not so well? So we kind of review that, get some ideas, get some input. And then we go right back to the online class, which is going to be another RPG here and reading the chapters and having a quiz, you see? So it's very straightforward. Read part three, take the quiz, and play the RPG, which begins, right here you can see, begins at 0900 on 1031, so that's a Monday, our class time. You do not come to class, you do not. It's online, we meet online, we meet inside Google Docs, and we'll see that, you can look at that now when you, if you wanna look at the video on how to play the RPG, it shows you how to do that. And then we go down through the semester, you can see it's basically the same thing. Every week you have, or every two weeks, you have a chapter to read. So example here, part number five. And then you take the quiz for part number five. And we may have some exercises to complete inside the book, which are very straightforward, not difficult. The idea is just to practice. And then you can go ahead and we'll have an RPG also. And here we can see it begins at 0900. 1121, November 21, that's going to be Monday morning, our class time, but we do not come to class. It's going to be online where we meet inside Google Docs, and it just kind of cycles for that, like that for a while. Part 6, Part 7, Part 8, and then we also have here, you can see the last couple weeks are all writing assignments, our QBL assignment number 5 and QBL assignment number 6. So throughout the semester, we're doing writing assignments. They begin, let me see where they begin. They begin back, QBL assignment zero, that's a practice assignment, zero meaning it's not going to count, that is in the fourth week. So the fourth week we begin our writing assignments, and before that we're doing other things. So you won't even have to begin doing writing until the fourth week. And then you can see it's a it's a writing assignment in the fourth week, but in the fifth week there's a holiday, and then in the sixth week here, the sixth week we have no writing assignment, but you do have a quiz, and you do have an RPG. And then in the seventh week, you do not have an RPG, but you do have a writing assignment. And then in the eighth week, you have a quiz, and you have no writing assignment, but you do have an RPG. So that's kind of the way the class is laid out, that if we're doing the RPG game, we are not doing the writing assignments because it's too much. And if you're doing the writing assignments, if you're not doing writing assignments, then you are doing the RPG. So each week we're doing something. You're either reading the chapter, taking a quiz, and getting ready for an RPG, or playing an RPG, or you're writing an assignment for a business negotiation letter. Okay, so that's the way the semester breaks down, 18 weeks. Again, let's review very quickly, what do we got? 18 weeks, four weeks in the classroom. First week, second week in the classroom, please try to come the first time so we can get everything out of the way. Then we have some online, and then we meet again to follow up. Then we have some online, and we meet again to follow up to see if there's any problems, and that's it. Just four times in the classroom, so very convenient to you. You could be anywhere. You could be in another country for all I know. As long as you can contact your group mates, your classmates, as long as you can access Google, then everything will be okay. So if you're going to China, that might be a problem since you'd have to use a VPN to access Google. Otherwise, you should have no trouble. Okay, thank you very much.